This Civic Media Podcast is sponsored by UW Organ and Tissue Donation. Organ donations are desperately needed, and now is the right time to become an organ donor. Talk to your family. Get the dot. Save lives. Go to HeroicDeed.com. This is your WXEO Daily News Roundup for Bull Falls Radio, 98.9 FM and 1230 AM in Wausau. For WXCO News, I'm Brittany Merlot. The holiday travel season begins now, and you can expect roads and airports to be crowded for this Thanksgiving. Jimmy Kuska has more on what we can expect. It will be a busy week for holiday travelers. In Wisconsin, a record number of people are expected to fly or drive for Thanksgiving. According to AAA, nearly 1.6 million people in Wisconsin could be on the move, continuing an upwards trend since before the COVID-19 pandemic. The vast majority of those traveling will be driving, with over 1.4 million Wisconsin residents hitting the road. AAA says to give yourself extra time to travel and obey traffic laws to arrive at your destination safely. And throughout the country, AAA expects over 80 million people to travel for Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving, which would be the most since 2019. And average gas prices rose a little over two cents per gallon over the past week in Wisconsin. The average in the state today is $2.85. This is nearly five cents lower than a month ago and about 10 cents per gallon lower than this time last year. Melissa Kay has more. Over 30 states have average gas prices below $3 this week but it won't be nationwide by Thanksgiving. Officials at Gas Buddy say Russia's threats after Ukraine used long-range U.S. missiles pushed oil prices back above $70 per barrel. Some promotions ahead of Thanksgiving are pushing gas prices back down, even as oil prices remain elevated. We are seeing the lowest national average price of gasoline since 2021 and a better economic picture than the last time prices were this low. Prices in the Wausau area today range from 267 to 287. Navigating airports and airplanes can be stressful at the best times of the year. As millions of travelers take to the skies over this busy holiday period, that stress can hit new heights. Flight attendants say give yourself a buffer day. Wherever you're traveling, there's a potential for storms and weather delays, which of course can cause cancellations. So leave buffer time for layovers too. Sure, the idea of sitting around at the airport waiting is not appealing. But missing your connecting flight is a much worse outcome. And if you're still considering a last-minute holiday getaway, there may be some good deals out there, usually midweek, and book directly through the airline because third-party platforms are more likely to automatically book travelers onto flights with super tight connection times. You should also opt for the first flight of the day because any delays or cancellations will roll on throughout the day. And also, if you have kids, book flights around nap times. And don't be fooled by delivery scam texts this holiday season. Melissa Kay has more. The Wisconsin Better Business Bureau warns phishing texts or emails look like official notices from delivery companies. They either contain a tracking link, a message that the shipper is having difficulty delivering a package to you, or a link to update delivery preferences. Clicking the link takes you to a form that asks for personally identifying information or to a site that downloads malware onto your computer. Another scam is missed delivery tags. They place a note on your door that claims you've missed a package. It includes a number that you should call to reschedule your delivery. It's a ruse to get your personal information. To avoid delivery scams this holiday season, keep track of your purchases, don't click on links, don't leave packages sitting on your doorstep, and open your delivery right away to check for damage or signs of tampering. You can find more information at bbb.org. And this is the ninth year that the Wausau Area Food for Hope volunteers gathered for a good cause. They met at Festival Foods yesterday and distributed over 280 turkeys and well over 700 hams, all to local schools and organizations. Those places will then give the food to needy families in Marathon County. Expectant mothers in the Wapaka area will have one last place to deliver their babies in 2025. Lisa Hale has the story. Freighter ThetaCare is ending labor and delivery services at the ThetaCare Medical Center in Wapaka on February 15th. Officials with the hospital system say it has birth centers that can provide maternity services in Appleton, Berlin, Nina, and Shawano. Meanwhile, an online petition by staff and Wapaka area community members is asking ThetaCare to reverse its decision. That petition has over 2,500 signatures. And fear the deer. Bucks broadcasts are coming to traditional TV. Stuart Waddles explains. TV stations in Milwaukee, Green Bay, Madison, Eau Claire, and Wausau are included in a new TV rights deal for the team. 
Select Bucks games this year will be available on broadcast television through a partnership, allowing fans to watch five games over the air. The deal starts with the December 4th game against the Atlanta Hawks. Bucks president Peter Fagan says it's important to make games widely available. Check your local listings for more details. And Wisconsin State Parks are now moving to a new 12-month admission pass. It's something that's been available in surrounding states and will now be here in Wisconsin starting Monday, December 2nd. The new pass, available for purchase, will be valid for an entire year from the day you buy it, when previously all passes expired on December 31st, even if you bought it just a few months prior in October. With the new pass, let's say you purchase it in February. It'll be good until the following February. The pass will be marked to indicate the month and year in which it'll expire. People are encouraged to save time by buying their passes online. Orders placed online will receive an email receipt with a confirmation number that can be used immediately for park entry. November is Military Family Appreciation Month. Service members and spouses alike can face challenges entering into the workforce once they leave the military. Progress is being made slowly, but experts say more needs to be done. About 200,000 service members a year transition from active duty to civilian life, and many experience rescinded offers, unemployment, or an adequate preparation for their transition. Jonathan Pride from NPower, an organization that provides skills training to veterans and their families, says uncertainty is one of their biggest challenges in the transition. A lot of the time, it's the only job they've ever had. And so they don't know how their skills will translate on the other side with corporations and partners and employers. Trying to translate their skills and their experiences into a resume, I think, is one of the hardest things. The National Veterans Training Institute found that veteran unemployment dropped by more than 3% in 2023. But Pride says vets also run into what he calls the paper ceiling which is a barrier that keeps workers without college degrees from getting higher wage jobs. And the Lake Effect snow machines are on, created simply by the Great Lakes themselves. First, the air temperature must be at least 23 degrees cooler than the water. Currently, Lake Superior sits at a balmy 45 degrees, while Lake Michigan is hanging on to some heat at 50 degrees. As north winds pull in overnight lows in the teens and highs below freezing this week, they will pick up steam from the unfrozen waters. Once this moist breeze hits land, it rises, forming clouds that will dump the frozen droplets as heavy snow downwind, usually falling in narrow bands that produce two to three inches of snow per hour or more. And if a good base is built, snowmobile trails typically open in early December. I'm Brittany Merlot for WXCO. Wisconsin goes up in the rankings. Hi, I'm Mike Clemens with sports. Men's college basketball, the Badgers, have two home games coming up this Saturday at noon against Chicago State. And then next week, Tuesday night, they take on Michigan. The Badgers now rank 15th in the nation after winning the Greenbrier Tournament in Orlando over the weekend. The Marquette Golden Eagles learn that they're now number 10th ranked in the nation. They'll host Stonehill tomorrow night in Milwaukee, the tip-off time, 8 o'clock. NBA, the Bucks in Miami tonight against the Heat. The Bucks have won four in a row. NFL, Packers holding practice for their game on Thanksgiving this Thursday night against the Miami Dolphins. Kickoff at 7.20, TV coverage on NBC. And then Friday at 11 a.m., more football. It's the Badgers against the Minnesota Gophers at Camp Randall Stadium. Rivalry games, you, you, you throw you throw records out the window. You throw sometimes even the home field advantage out the window. It's It comes down to who wants it more. And anybody that can't get up for that doesn't belong in either one of these places. That's Badgers head football coach Luke Fickle. With sports, I'm Mike Clemens. On your entertainment beat, I'm Pete Schwaba. As loved as Marvel films are by fans, there is no shortage of people who love to take a shot at the studio. Add Frances Hannon to the list. The Oscar-winning makeup and hair designer for Wicked was tasked with making Cynthia Erivo's character, Elphaba, green. Another Oscar nomination for Hannon, no doubt. Hannon praised director John Chu for using practical and tangible sets as opposed to Marvel films, which are all green screen and CGI. Not sure she'll be hired by Marvel again, but not sure she cares. Henry Winkler's daughter was almost famous. Zoe Winkler recently recalled on her What's in the Winkler podcast that she almost did a reality TV show with a pre-fame Kim Kardashian years ago. Zoe Winkler, who is now a teacher, was in the running to be the bachelorette until the fans said, hey, no way. It's been a long road for the live action version of Snow White, but there is now a release date in sight. The Disney flick has been in development since 2016 and was supposed to be released in 2024. Greta Gerwig wrote the script for the film, which stars Rachel Ziegler and Gal Gadot. Snow White will hit theaters March 21st of 2025. 
Hollywood is full of crazy stories, and actor Josh Brolin has a doozy he shared in his new memoir from Under the Truck. Brolin tells the story of when he met acting legend Marlon Brando. Brolin attended a dinner at his stepmother Barbara Streisand's house, along with John Travolta and Kelly Preston. Brolin recalled that Brando showed up with a bleeding leg because he stopped to pull someone from a mudslide on the way to the party. Travolta, a well-known Scientologist, noticed and told Brando he had just gotten to the next level as a Scientologist and said he could heal him. Brolin recalled watching Danny Zuko heal the Godfather, one of the most surreal of his life. It was surreal just reading that. Click and Weekend's box office haul turned out to be no match for that of Barbenheimer's, but it was still impressive and helped the holiday box office get off to a great start. As expected, Wicked landed in the top spot with a take of $114 million, more than doubling Gladiator 2's haul of $56 million at the gate. Gladiator 2, directed by Ridley Scott and starring Paul Mescal, Connie Nielsen, Denzel Washington, and Pedro Pascal, was never expected to be the top dog, as it was always Oppenheimer to Wicked's Barbie. Wicked slightly exceeded expectations with its box office office hall, whereas Gladiator 2 came in just under its expectations. This is becoming a trend in Hollywood where two films coming out at the same time were not necessarily competing against each other, but help each other create a social media phenomenon. Landing in third place in week two of its release was Red One with 13 million bucks. Rounding out the top five were Bonhoeffer, Pastor Spy Assassin, and the resilient Venom, The Last Dance, which came in fifth place with four million. For more showbiz fun, tune in to Nightlight with me, Peach Waba, weeknights from 6 to 8 p.m. on the Civic Media Radio Network. We have some pretty good travel weather coming our way for the upcoming holiday weekend, but take a jacket because it is going to be cold. Today, partly cloudy. We'll get to 27 for a high this afternoon. West wind at 5 to 15. 12 tonight, mostly cloudy. 29 tomorrow. Thanksgiving Day, some light snow showers with a high in the mid-20s. I'm meteorologist Sean Cable. Temperature now at 19. That's your WXCO Daily News Roundup from Civic Media. Subscribe to this podcast on Spotify, Apple, or wherever you find your podcasts. Find more news at bullfallsradio.com. The national news cycle never stops, but it can be hard to find news about your local community. Civic Media is dedicated to providing quality local and state news coverage across Wisconsin. With the Civic Media app, you can get notifications about local stories that matter to you and your community. Find the free Civic Media app in your phone's app store and choose notifications from the menu to tell us what kind of news you want to hear about. 